Keep your hands steady, three. Stop them! Free me! Again! Again! Make it squeal again! What the hells are you doing? We're juicing it up! The beast came in here with those robbers, killed Dink and Mince too! Boss is thinking of serving it to the wargs. And it makes funny noises! We made it squeal! Look, look, you'll see! Give me that rock! I'll show ya! Release the bear immediately or face my wrath. Oh shit. Okay. Alright, alright. If you're gonna throw a tantrum about it, I've never seen someone so worked up over a stupid animal. But, but I want to hear it squeal. We'll be the ones squealing if we piss off the bear hugger. Hope you can control the furry bastard. Good. Now they die. Time for blood. Pardon the viscera. One should cherish all of nature's bounty, but... Goblin guts are quite far down the list. Not only do you speak with a bear, but you free it too? <laughs> a true friend of nature. Or perhaps a lunatic. Either way, I owe thanks. I am the druid Halson. Yeah. I've heard you're an unmatched healer. I need your help. Indeed? Well, not the most opportune moment, but given the lengths you went to, I assume there's some urgency. Come on then, what's the problem? Unless you'd rather wait for an audience of goblins. Father, preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The Mind Flayer's spawn. But... something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the Absolute like the true souls do. How is this possible? I think this artifact has something to do with it. Hmm. That looks very alien. As alien as the Mind Flayers. They do not belong on this world. You weren't speaking lightly when you said you needed help. Let me tell you what I know. I've been studying these parasites for a while now. Ever since I discovered these so-called true souls are infected with them, someone is using very powerful magic to modify these tadpoles. They're using them to exert control over the infected. I'm sorry to say, I can't undo that magic, which means I can't cure you. But that doesn't mean I can't help. I didn't find what I came here for, a way to remove the tadpoles. But I found the next best thing. I found out where they come from. That must be where these enchantments are placed on them. And it's where you'll find your cure. Tell me uh, what you've learned about the Tadpoles' origins. I overheard that the cultists are sending all of their captives to Moonrise Towers. Innocents go in, true souls come out. Given that all of these true souls are infected, it has to be the source for this magic. If you want to find a cure, you must head there and discover how the Tadpoles are being manipulated. You seem to know a lot about this. Will you come to me with, uh, with me to Moonrise? I wish I could, but there's still work I've yet to finish. Blood I've yet to spill. I've no right to ask more of you, but if you could help me, I'd be free to join your journey to Moonrise. I cannot allow these butchers to threaten my grove. 
The natural order must be protected. Kaga was swayed by shadow druids. She nearly sealed the grove. <sighs> Korga. I should have suspected she'd take things too far. I'll deal with her when I can. But there are other matters to attend to before that. Help me kill the leaders of this horde. Save my grove. Then I will help you. Three deaths could win us peace. The Draumin Thara, the Hobgoblin Draw Ragslin, and that perversion of a priestess, Gut. They are the ones holding these parasites together. Remove them, and nature will cure itself. Having a shapeshifting bear droid on my side could make things easier. My thanks. If you prevail, I'll owe you the debt of a lifetime. Be warned. My presence could make things more difficult. I can only restrain my bear form so much. I won't be able to help but attack goblins. If I join you, we'll likely have to slaughter this entire place. You may want to use discretion when approaching the goblin leaders. Come with me. So be it. May Sylvanus lend us nature's fury. Let's see what this does. Decaying legs protrude from the hole. A failed escape, it seems. It seems the tunnel collapsed mid-dig and suffocated him. A crooked heart is embroidered on his left shoe. The body comes loose, revealing a tunnel. Perhaps you can escape where he failed. Still blocked, but should be easy enough to clear. Still blocked, but should be easy enough to clear. Nature's blessings. Are you ready to do what is necessary? Tell me what you know about the Moonrise Towers. Traveling to Moonrise is no small task. Expect dangers like you've never seen before. Don't make it sound so tempting. I already know you'd rather I stayed than helped you. 
That's true. I won't lie. But I won't let you march towards Moonrise without knowing what you'd face. Tell me then. I'm going to do whatever it takes. To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings, tormented, dangerous souls. The Absolute's forces can tolerate such a place? So it seems, though I don't know how. You will have to choose your approach carefully. You could go overland, along the Risen Road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the Shadow Curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in this very temple of Saluna. It leads to Moonrise Towers, through the Underdark. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorm built a secret stronghold deep down there, before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicias, Shah worshippers. Dark Justicias? I must see for myself. Aridan and his lot were looking for a way down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers, and may bypass the worst of the Shadow Curse. All right. I never thought I'd say this, but it sounds like the Underdark is the safer route. Okay. Actually, I found the hidden entrance in the Temple of Saloon. The way is clear. Already? <laughs> if only I'd gone with you instead of Aradin. Okay. Anything is preferable to risking the Shadow Curse. What business do you have at Moonrise? You said you'd go there if you could. My business there began long ago, and has led to a lifetime of regret. I helped overthrow Kethrick Thorm and his Dark Justicias years ago, but I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. I spent years researching the curse, trying to put an end to it. Nothing has worked. Yet. If I could join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I could have both helped you find a cure for your infection and lifted the curse. But the Grove must come first, I'm afraid. Is, this, is that why you went with Aradin? You thought he might uncover this route to Moonrise? Precisely. Then perhaps I could have done something about both the Shadow Curse and Ceramorphosis aberrations. But in my eagerness, I put far too much faith in the abilities of Aradin and his band. We didn't even get close. I'm sorry I can't do more. Thank you, and good luck with the grove. I'll need that luck, along with all the Oak Father's blessings. I'll remain here and do what I can to disrupt these cultists' plans. Perhaps I can stop their attack before it's even launched. Farewell. 